What's good, YouTube? And welcome to, oh my gosh, $500 SP Little Knight. You all made out like bandits on the pre-sales, except this is TCG Player pre-sales where the competition just isn't there. It's locked only to a couple of sellers who aren't really motivated to undercut each other and hope that people fall to FOMO along with that reasoning of starting to hype themselves up like, oh my gosh, this could be the next IP Masquerina Starlight Rare, which a lot of people are saying about the SP Little Knight Quarter Century Rare. Or, uh, I gotta secure my cards when it comes to multiple of these different things on a super hype set like Age of Overlord. However, if I actually start reacting to market content like that uh, go ahead and take me out behind the barn and end my career that being said let's go ahead and do a little bit of a better deal and give away something completely for free only one person in the audience is going to win this the mat is provided to me by dank ritual and it's their limited halloween mat and man the colors really do pop on this i don't know how their process goes but the ai mat is doing really well on the secondary market it sells like 180 pretty consistently in the groups you can see the the green kind of pop back here i have terrible lighting i'm sorry but seriously i like this playmat a lot the feel is so good i'm not quite sure their process to get it this way but all you gotta do to enter this giveaway is one live in the u.s because shipping number two be a subscriber and like this video you can only win if you're subscribed to the channel and number three market research again once prices are reasonable for age of overlord tell me what card you're looking Looking forward to the most in this set to incorporating or archetype if you're going for a whole archetype and one lucky person in the comment section down below will be picked at random I'll go ahead Friday night and pin that comment for the winner and you can participate also like in the discussion of course if you're from elsewhere but you gotta live in the US to claim this map that being said actually going through here it's just pretty hopeless when we talk about TCG player pre-sales they're so juiced past like like gamers choice past you know tier zero it's just not realistic even when you have six seven sellers here lining up the prices are so freaking bad they really need to figure out a different system now going through market changes i wanted to point out once again how poorly cards are doing that are slated for the rarity collection even in high rarities the collector rare baronet de fleur is now down towards a hundred four hundred five dollars lowest listings trying to get rid of it now but there are still most at you know 120 and there's not the most before it is 150 so it'll be interesting to see the actual price course history because they've been selling at the 120 with the 125 but there's not many in this range i guess a lot of people are waiting to see what short printed konami and i still think they're gonna put their best foot forward but that's complete speculation that there wouldn't be short prints in a set like this and we'll have to wait and see i'm hopium inglets like battles of legend the one but that might be a bit too much faith in konami to pull off so i get a lot of people's skepticism and why they are thinking short prints lie ahead even in the higher rarity ranges we'll have to wait and see speaking of high rarity cards we did cover terraforming starting to spike up there's only four listings on the quarter century rare as people continue to really go in on it and the ultimate rare is not moving all that much if you want a nice mid max rarity as we've seen a lot of concentration on mid max lately in the market well there are very nice super rare secret rares very very cheap and i would just go ahead and get play sets in case anything ever happens to it on the fnl list some moves around there but yeah there's just tons of nice hollows multiple secret rares and with how mid max has been jumping I'd, I'd probably go secret rare than tournament pack super and then ultra but if you're going max rarity a lot of people are saying the quarter century rare is going to hold over the ulti other people are saying the ulti is going to rebound people will get these now that the other one's up and they'll rather go this way i think the conversation's interesting because quarter century rares are highly underestimated for their actual pull rate on how hard they are to get out of these sets with 25 different ones we're talking about one out of every 8.3 cases 12 box cases to get an individual on average and for cards that are really good like terraforming that are going to find themselves in the conversation of metagame after metagame but also get ban list fears from people it'll be interesting to see future performance on how these two race each other it's kind of like secret first ed dad and dark arms except not quite as iconic of a card more of an engine meta card that's been long lived speaking of cards that i noticed were a little bit cheap in my opinion 
opinion. I really like the Quarter Century Rare Punk Foxy Tune. It's the highest rarity version of this because people are defining it over Collector Rare for sure. And I also really like the Prismatic Secret and I noticed it's higher than I thought it would be surprisingly already so people are catching on. It's just a great engine to have back there. We keep seeing these modern engines thanks to them slowing down on power creep come time and time again back into the metagames and punk is one of those that has been performing like most recently we had punk gold pride so i do think this is something that's underestimated i think it's something that would be good to have and who knows when the next reprint on these kinds of cards are going to be because konami may not have eyes on them for a while and might let them sit so i really like the highest rarity because it's the least variance and if it does go up might go up the biggest multiplier but mid maxing slash also the prismatic secret out of the tens also a pretty good pickup in my opinion using that tcg player link in the description down below causing you nothing i should have support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying but do keep in mind konami could just use it as filler in some kind of reprint set in like a spring reprint set in the future rock of the vanquisher had its ultimate rare announced much to the chagrin of a lot of the community many people were not happy that was the leading next ots ulti in the next ots pack and i personally think it's good to have medical cards like these represented i think that's what ots packs are partly for it's also nice to see huge generic ones but we're about to get like 70 you know different ultimate rares that are pretty iconic in a rarity collection so i don't blame them for concentrating more on the metagame here with the classic ultimate style and it has rebounded up towards 18 to 20 it got, I believe, second place at the YCS. It was performing really good. The quote, uh, do correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it was second. And Versus is just an underestimated deck. I feel like that continues to perform, but a lot of people were turned off by having seven different ultra rares in Wild Survivors relinquished anima is seeing some traction with purely it seems according to the discord that's the only thing they could come up with with the card and that makes a lot of sense and both versions have been slowly trending upwards i'd probably get the secret rare even though there's a lot more listings rather than the original du dual overload but whatever really suits your taste i just like secret rares over ultra infernoids continue to stonk and be low quantity remember there was a pure Myus buyout but it's continued to kind of just stay up after that buyout and you can see here eight dollars and that's the same for a lot of the cards like void imagination has stayed up here in price for the most part and the first editions are towards fifteen dollars unlimbs are a bit cheaper but continuing to press up banishments actually cooled off just a hair but is still way up since the announcement of infernoid support and it's seeming to be good so be aware these are like 10 to 11s also if you're going through bulk old cards be sure it's not just infernoid names also the void cards that combo with them and the better card is staying pricier rather than the searcher a bit impressed with that danger mothman secret rares are spiking pretty hard the max rarity of this danger is an engine that finds its way into metagames time and time again tier lament has been said enough on recent market watches and that's what this works with and also there's a lot of ken and gen hype dark world fallback dark world hype and this works with dark world as well so people are grabbing max rarities of these and nasi quarter century rare has baby bumped and gone lower in value if you want to mid max here uh the og secret rare i prefer to the battles of legend secret rare and the first editions are actually way down over time like four dollars and unlimbs here are also like you know mixed in here at four dollars for some reason their market price is way higher let me know if you know the reason for that that happens sometimes on the market weirdly but you can see here they're both priced around four dollars lowest and start to go up to five from there i just like the og secret for this card specifically remembering it being 55 6 crazy prices and getting one for five dollars feels kind of good right next up we also have speaking of dark world silva i just didn't know the price on the ultimate rare i was looking through because this got a lot of hype over on twitter being shown with ken and gen and the secret rare has consistently for some time been up and actually spiked a while ago before the announcement of ken and gen but the ultimate rare is eye popping prices market price first edition a hundred and thirty eight dollars and i think it's like around the 130 when i was looking through here yeah first edition 130 and it goes up from 
there. I don't think there's many under that. There is none under that for the first edition. So just be aware sometimes cards are actually in the collector market still stonking. And there can be different reasons like people do love to go back in past formats and play Dark Worlds. Even if it's not the best deck, it is a huge fan favorite that has also found its way into modern at points in time and get some silly hype here and there. But this is consistent. This isn't hype at this moment. The Dark Creator is doing a little something something, especially for the lower easy access rarities. This is apparently getting some traction at its and people keep discovering Edison and trying wacky, crazy things. Dark Creators always felt like an underestimated card to a large degree, but Edison, really? So yeah, the super rares and the commons being Legendary Collection Yugi World, a special edition in the secret, the only versions of this card... That's that's wild. I thought this got a reprint somewhere along the way, like Toon Chaos is a rare, but nope. A really hard card to get. And then Super Nimble Mega Hamster Secret Rares are rebounding like crazy. Over time, they were starting to chill out a little bit, and they are re-spiking and are about the same price as the first edition original Super OGs. Every nice version of this card is just a pretty good price, and it is the logo not logo the mainstay art on the new time wizard playmat for this year so also getting some traction there and recognition by konami themselves i do like the high rarity versions of these cards especially the secret rare i think i would prefer that to first as og personally but of course it comes down to taste and preference in fact you could argue either to be max rarity technically thanks for watching today's market watch please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation and if there's not too much movement i'll try to do a discussion video friday or something like that but if there's enough tabs again it'll probably be a market watch you'll enjoy it right too many market watches no such thing